welcome to this video of me reviewing the Playmobil Ghostbusters sets or Ghostbusters Playmobil sets, whatever way you prefer to say it. I hope you've been enjoying these. So today we're going to be having a look at the Ecto-1 set. So I think I can hear it coming now, so it's just on its way. So there we go. So as you heard and see, that I can see that the, this Ecto-1 set comes with lights and sounds from the movie. So let me just demonstrate how this works. So we've got two little buttons here. That one turns the lights on and off and this one does the sound. That just turns it off right away, but it does turn itself off on its own. So I didn't expect that when I got my son this, this set. This is probably my favourite set out of all the Playmobil sets, other than the Stay Puft one. I plan on getting this for myself. I'll probably end up o opening it and displaying it because, as you'll soon see, the detail is redonkulous. So let's have a good little look at this. So from the side, it looks better than the real Ghostbusters one. The detail is great. Look at everything in the roof rack. You've got all the little radar dishes, all the little cylinders. Stickers are on there. I'm pretty sure I've put them on the wrong side, but uh, I think that's just turned. Yep, that's what's happened. It's just turned. So there we go. So let's turn that around. So you can see the same on here. Everything looks great. It's got a blue piping. It goes from the roof down into there. Everything looks fantastic. So you do get two figures with this. I'll show you how you access them. So it's easy enough. That just pops off, which is would you explain why that turns? Because when I grab that, so it, you can see that's where the battery batteries go for the uh, the lights, and it does turn itself off after a moment. Can't remember how long it only lasts a few seconds. We'll see how long it goes. So there it goes. The lights don't go off until you turn and go off. So I wish they had a rough same life cycle as that because then you can put them both on at the same time as which my son usually did I just did that but we're not going to keep listening to that sound because it will get annoying so I'm just going to set that to the side there and we're going to have a look in the roof of and you know what we'll look in the boot we'll look in the boot we'll do a quick jump cut before we open the boot up I just want to point out some of the details you've got stickers here for the the back lights which I wish they could have just put a bit of plastic in there instead. But you've got a sticker on there for the license plate. But these little light bulbs are actual individual light bulbs that I had to struggle to push into those slots. So before we... Let's have a look at... You've got the Ghostbusters logo on the trunk door, or the boot door as we call it. But the boot door just opens up nicely. And you can see in there there's a little storage section for a trap. So you can keep a trap in the, the Ghostbusters car. I wish there was more room for more traps. But you'll see why in a moment why there is not. So we're going to have a jump cut to the roof. Right, so you can see in the roof I'm trying to stay out in the light. So you've got space here for one of your figures. So if one of the figures that comes with set is Janine as a Ghostbuster. So this is exclusive to the Ecto-1 set. As you've seen with the Firehouse, you got her in her receptionist uniform. But now you've got her in a Ghostbusters gear. So you, she wasn't in Ghostbusters gear in any of the movies. So this is mostly from the cartoon. So we'll just move her to the side for a moment. And you can also get into your driver, which is Winston. This is the only way to get Winston with this set, is to buy the car. His figure, basic jumpsuit, just his name on it, but he's got a creepy face. His eyes are going all over the place. I don't know if that's just bad printing or if they all look like that. But, yep, so that's Winston. So you can also see, let me just move that into the light a bit more. You've got these four stands. So these stands hold proton packs so you can put all your Ghostbusters in the car and they don't have to wear the proton packs while sitting down so you've got one space two seats in the back plus two in the front so you can have all four Ghostbusters and the proton packs and then I just have the PKA meters just kicking about in there and the trap in the boot so let's do a jump cut back to the exterior so I can sit more comfy and talk about this so this Ecto-1 set comes with both Janine and Winston a ghost trap, PKA meter, and two backpacks, and two proton streams. Now this is the, the, the second most expensive set out of all the ones we've reviewed. It's £40 on Amazon. It was more than that. It was more than that when I bought this for my son. But for £40, I don't think you can get a better Ecto-1 model. 
So you can buy just a basic metal figure, a metal die cast vector one that's not even that size. That's basically the same price. It's got decent detail and stuff on it, but you're not going to have the lights, you're not going to have the sounds. And you can display some... You don't even need to have these Playmobil figures in it or the packs. It still looks good sitting on its own. So let me just... So you could have it sitting like that. It looks good. Or you could have it sitting like that. And you can just have the lights going. I would waste the batteries, but it looks good just sitting there like this. I think this is a fantastic steal. I do plan on getting this for myself at some point or hoping to get it for Christmas from someone. So... That's why I love this set. I'm just going to let those lights run. I don't even know if they turn themselves on because we've, we've always turned them off ourselves. So, perfect set. £40. Fantastic. So, I'm going to do what I was planning on doing to start the video, but I decided to do that roll in. So, jump cut. So, yeah, those lights are still going. They never turned themselves off. So, I think those lights just keep going until you turn them off. So, I'm just demonstrating that if you have the Firehouse set and Ecto-1, the Ecto-1 comfortably fits inside here. There's no... You can easily close this up with the Ecto-1 inside it. And it sits in there. No overlap. It's not going to fall out the back. Well, it can fall out the back. Because it's ridged downwards. It should be ridged upwards to stop it falling down the back. But yeah, it does look fantastic sitting in there. So let's get those lights off. So yeah, so this is how my son usually keeps it sitting in there. All the other pieces and stuff is usually in a box so he doesn't lose them. But that sits in the garage because it just looks awesome. So that's the Ecto-1 set. I freaking love that set. I love it just because I would have killed for that as a child. See if that was Ecto-1 that came out when I was a kid. I would still have it. I'd have looked after that thing. I would have kept it clean. I don't know what happened to me. I'm pretty sure it was sabotaged by my parents because it made a lot of noise when you pushed it along the ground with this weird grappling hook it made a lot of noise just pushing it along the ground so i think it was sabotaged personally so i remember getting told to stop rolling it along, off, along the floor all that so that's all of the playmobil ghostbusters first set so first wave so this is like everything that came out when the playmobil ghostbusters first came out my son got them all for christmas some from me some from other family members so in combination he got the full set and he was buzzing with it. We played with it a lot. But like I said, over the last couple of years, he's not touched it. He has grown up a bit. He prefers proper action figures. He's more into his Pokemon and stuff just now. So, I would recommend this to anybody that's got any young kids that like Ghostbusters. Or maybe think their kids would like Ghostbusters. Playmobil is a great stuff. I've never personally had any experience with Playmobil. But since then... Before he got went off Playmobil, my son's had a few different Playmobil sets, non-Ghostbusters related. And I would recommend Playmobil to anyone. The quality you get with these figures is fantastic. They're sturdy, they're, they're robust. Everything about them is great. And you got lots and lots of accessories. And as you can see, the quality... Just look at that Ecto-1. That's all I need to say is look at that Ecto-1. I can't sing its praises enough. So that's the full set. So this isn't the last Playmobil Ghostbusters video I'm going to do. I'm going to do one more. I'm not going to film that until tomorrow. But I'm just going to show you what it is just now. So you know what you're looking forward to. It may not go up right away after this. You might have a lot of wait, but it will be coming. So this is the last Playmobil Ghostbusters set I got my son. He's played with it a total of once. And that was the Christmas he got it. He opened it, played with it, and it's sat in his box ever since. So that's when I kind of knew he was off Playmobil. And I didn't really buy them anymore. So we've got the Ghostbusters 2. Egon Spengler. We'll, we'll, I'll do this tomorrow. And this has a hologram with it. So this actually you actually see a hologram getting sucked into your ghost trap. So we'll film that tomorrow. And I hope you will enjoy that. But if you enjoyed these Ghostbusters Play Review videos. Don't forget to check out my other Ghostbusters videos. My channel has quite a lot of Ghostbusters related content. I do try to mix things up between video games maybe some wrestling related videos or trading cards things like that things that interest me that's what i try to put on this channel stuff that interests me so maybe one day when i'm not here people won't remember me can watch these videos and like, i remember he liked them he was awful passionate about that there's going to be a record of that always so i get a bit morbid there so anyway hope you enjoyed this video it's 
I'm going to hopefully do some more Ghostbusters related videos. I'm still re waiting on the, act, the the physical Tobin Spirit Guide from the Ghostbusters of Glasgow. I won that in a competition. I will do a review on that as soon as it arrives. I will maybe take down some of my other Ghostbusters things from my collection and review them without opening them, etc, etc. And I'm pretty sure I've got a Ghostbusters WWE thing during the post at some point within the next couple of months. So when that arrives, I can review that. And that will be getting opened or not, I'm not sure. So as always, don't forget, have a good one.